Good to go. Pursuant to Chapter 20 of the Acts of 2021 and extended again by Chapter 2 of the Acts of 2023, this meeting will be conducted via remote means. Members of the public, public who wish to access the meeting may do so in the following manner by emailing Steve McCarthy at McCarthyS at AmherstMA.gov. That's M-C-C-A-R-T-H-Y-S at AmherstMA.gov. No in-person attendance of members of the public will be permitted, but every effort will be made to ensure that the public can adequately access the proceedings in real time via technological means. In the event that we are unable to do so for reasons of economic hardship and despite best efforts, we will post on the Amherst website an audio or video recording, transcript, or other comprehensive record of proceedings as soon as possible after the meeting. And with that done, we'll call the meeting to order at 5.03 p.m. and take a roll call of attendance. Kelly. Here. Dylan. Here. And uh, I'm here, so we're three here and two absent um, who may potentially join us when they can. Um, okay, so the next up is public comment. Is there anyone here for public comment? And that is general public, general comment unrelated to anything on the agenda. So if you're here for a licensed application or one of the discussion topics, please hold your comment until then. If you are here for general public comment, raise your hand by hitting the raise hand button. No, okay, that is public comment. Um, next up is licenses. A, Common Victors License Application CV-127 Carefree Cakery LLC at 71 Coles Road. Are there people here for that, Steve? Yes, uh, Alicia Bryant, I believe, is the owner, so she should be coming in. Okay, fantastic. Hello, Ms. Bryant. Hi, how are you? Great, how are you? <laughs> great. Uh, great, so we'd love to hear about your business. Uh, sure. So uh, Carefree Cakery is a bakery that specializes in cakes, um, things for like, you know, custom cakes for weddings, birthdays, things of that nature, um, and additionally, gluten-free and vegan goods as well. Um, so largely just a dessert shop, anything you can think of for sweets, it'll likely be there. Fantastic. Um, yeah. Great. Uh, everyone got a copy of the license application? Does anyone have any questions or comments about the application? If not, is there a motion to approve CV-127? So moved. Oh, who is that? <laughs> That's right. Dylan. It's Dylan. Okay, Dylan. Thank you, Dylan. Is there a second? I'll second. Thanks, Hallie. Um, any further discussion? If there is not, then we'll take a vote. Hallie. Aye. Dylan. Aye. Gaston. Aye. And I vote aye. That is four to zero with one absent, and your application is approved. Thanks awesome, so much thank for you. coming in and best wishes for your business. We're really excited. For you. Thank you all so much. All right. Thanks. Bye-bye. Take care. Okay. So now we move on to our discussion topics. And first up is the marijuana regulation. Um, so what we talked about last time is we want, did we, Steve, did we want to work on establishing the marijuana subcommittee first? Or did you look more into that? Or were we just going to? Yeah, so I did do some some research into that. So to establish a subcommittee that's composed of only members of the board, so uh -huh. no people outside the board, then um, the board can just do that via vote. Um, and if there was three people on this subcommittee, then only two would be a quorum. Okay. Um, so the board would have to think about who the who would want to be on that subcommittee, and other people could certainly come in and and comment, but um, they wouldn't be core members of the subcommittee. Okay. Um, and I did also find that Worcester has a um, a local marijuana license, so I sent along the ordinance for that. I thought that would be interesting. Um, and from our last meeting focusing on this, I am working on um, getting some information about the diverse, uh, diversion and education programs funded with uh, host community agreement funds, um, the pre and post change revenues from the host community agreements and public safety reports and the impact of marijuana businesses versus the alcohol related ones. So I'm working on that. Okay, so that's still in process. So I don't know if we want to go too far into it right now, or if, do we want to, uh, I mean, I wish Doug were here um, to figure out who wants to be on the, do we definitely want to set up the marijuana regulation subcommittee of three people so that it can kind of meet with only two if necessary, because people's schedules seem to be getting, I mean, do we want to make that call now or just wait until we have everybody here? What do you think, Dylan? Well, I was going to say, I, uh, 
I mean, I, I, I like the idea of a three person subcommittee for ease of quorum, but the, uh, I think if we can do it all in a, uh, a, a friendly way, mm -hmm. just because you're not on the subcommittee, you know, you don't, you don't get an official vote, but it's, it's, it's all the same people on the regular committee. It's just a convenience thing. We can right. kind of approach it in that way of like, hey, what do you think about this? All right. Well, if you were voting, it would be this. So we'll we'll carry that vote and, you know, decide it in that way. We have three members of the subcommittee, two yes and a one no, and the two members in attendance who would vote no. Can we can we just like approach it like uh, like normal people and not like very stick like particular bureaucrats? Like, well, technically, they're not on the mm -hmm. subcommittee. So right. Um, so what would be the advantage? Anything, yeah, sorry. That that was my point. Yeah, we could. Oh, I was wondering if there's an advantage to um, having the, I mean, did we want to just move more, is the idea just to move more quickly on the whole topic as opposed to just bringing it up at, a, at every meeting and going like, like talking about it that way? Because, I mean, does anybody see the, the need to have? Well, I mean, I think the, the, um, the advantage is just like, when we've done a task force, like when Hallie and I were, had a task force or um, uh, I, I did a little support of Dylan preparing the club regulations, it's just, there's a lot of, you know, legwork that is, would consume right. the whole meeting. And okay. so I, that's the, I think that's the purpose is that to really make progress on this stuff takes, um, take some focus that is tough in these meetings. That's, I guess that would be the theory of it. Okay, so a little more targeted than what we're, we'd be able to talk about in our regular meeting. So um, who would want to, um, so we have a quorum, we could set such a thing up today. So who, do we have three people who would like to go at this thing? Did we wanna wait for Doug or see if he wants to join? I mean, uh, as long as Doug is acting superintendent. I, I, I kind of feel like he has a lot on his plate. Yeah, right now, I, th I think but so I don't too. For him either. So, so is there a way? Um, uh, can we vote by email? I don't believe it? so. Not no, for an official vote. For an official vote. Okay. Um, and he said you. he's 50 50, might, might be coming today, might not make it today. Yep. Okay. Um, I mean, I don't want to leave him out if he wants to be part of the. Yeah, Dylan, go ahead. Although I don't. I was going to say, if if we if we like the idea of just like three person subcommittee, just so we can have the meetings, whoever can attend, we can we can just if two people want to come and talk about it in public, awesome, great. Uh, okay. But you know, if, if we're going to approach it in the way where you know all five of us show up we treat it more or less the same as we would treat this meeting i think it would be i'm definitely happy then not being on the subcommittee and then i okay. think it, it ends up being you know kind of relevant whether or not doug is officially on or off it because right. there's no more because he official. still has input right he has input anyway exactly right yeah. okay all right well let's just set it up and um so we have three people who are willing to go on the subcommittee. Oh, I'll go. <laughs> <laughs> I'm willing. If Doug has a burning desire, I'm also willing to step away from the right. subcommittee. Oh, okay. All right. Uh, I mean, if um, if if someone, if one of you is uh, you know kind of happy to be the the driver of you know, I I will. Um, I am happy to to uh, to to support. Um, I'm you know I'm my summer's kind of crazy uh, work, mm. unfortunately. Okay, all right, Dylan, were you going to say something? I was going to say like I, I I'll be on it, but I I don't think that's you know, the best. I'm the best person for it for that reason. Okay, um, okay. Well, let's um let's see. So Hallie, you're willing to rotate out if Doug has a burning desire to be on it, um, or guest on Dylan, one of you could possibly rotate out. Would that be all right? 
if Doug yeah, yeah, really I'm, wants yeah. to. Okay, so I'll say yes. Helly will say yes. You guys flip a coin and we'll just get it established. And then we can figure out who, who we can vote in or out at the next meeting. Okay. Gaston? If Gaston thinks he's going to attend more than me, I'd, I'd rather be Gaston. I... But then again, as long okay. as two people are going to attend, that's the whole idea. So. Um. Yeah, I mean, I guess the, what's the what's the what's the vision? I mean, uh, just to review, Steve, these these will be public meetings. Is that the way it works? Yes. So they'll be fully public meetings. Um, the board can establish kind of a, a different board that, um, you know, would post its own agendas and and minutes and things like that, and um, have different composition. Um, but that way, the, a quorum of um, this board would not be needed. Okay. just a quorum of, of that board so if there was three members only two would be needed but that allows for um a way for if there's, there's only two people who can meet on any particular day um then that could be a quorum just two members of the license commission is not a quorum um so it's just a way to um kind of work okay. around that and uh give a little bit more flexibility but it's also it also allows us to like have more than two people talking outside right so if yeah we i mean they would two be people, i mean we're still we're not gonna we're not going to violate town open meeting. Exactly. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It'll be public meetings and publicly posted and everything. Uh, well, I um, that's I'm 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 happy to uh, I'm I'm happy to to join and um, you know this five p.m. Thursday slot is probably the easiest one to protect for me, but I, but I guess we can always vary that as long as uh, we provide uh, Steve with, what is it, three three business days notice? Uh, 48 hours ahead of time, but for me okay. to, to try to get it all sorted, yeah. yeah. I have okay. to get it to the town clerk 48 hours ahead of time. Okay. Dylan, were you gonna say something? He's frozen. Dylan, Not, you're frozen. I've got bad reception coming to me. Okay. I've got I've got bad reception. Get come back to me when it's when it's good. I'll be, okay. I'll be here. All right. Okay. Oh, there you. Okay, you're looking better now. So, um, so we're gonna vote guest on and Hallie and myself on, and then we'll rearrange as necessary and try to keep a Thursday 5 p.m. slot. Is that good for everybody? Sure. So far, okay. So I move to create a subcommittee of three with initial members, uh, commissioners, Hughes, Walker, and De Los Reyes. So we'll call it the Marijuana Regulation Subcommittee? Yes. Yes. I will second that. All right, thank you, Hallie. Any further discussion? And see if we can dissolve this if we need to, right? Yep. Okay, all right. Uh, okay, hearing no further discussion, I'll take a vote, Hallie. Aye. Dylan? Aye. Gaston? Aye. And I vote aye. That is four to zero with one absent. Um, all right, it's been established. And we can. And the meeting times will be the uh, alternate. Yes, Thursdays. alternate Thursdays at five. And great. So, Steve, whenever, if Doug doesn't show today, can you let him know that we did this mm -hmm. and tell him what time it's meeting and tell him that if he wants to. Be part of the subcommittee. Um, he can. We're happy to re vote him in or um, exchange, swap somebody out. Or if he just wants to come in as a visitor, that would be great too. But we just wanted to move forward with that. Sounds good. Okay. And, um, uh, you should probably ask if there's any public comment on marijuana while we're on the topic. Oh, is there any public comment on this? Are there? Uh, no attendee. Oh, there's nobody. There's nobody. I, I think they, no... we had an attendee, but they just, just left. Just left. Yes, we have no public. Okay. My, I oh, guess wait, my reminder my, is here. My request is that ne next um, next Thursday I am uh, kind of on the road for the day, so I I wonder if we can start on the twenty seventh. Yes, that would be fine with me because I'll be back. By That's then. fine with me. Okay. okay. I think I may be out of town for that one, but we can certainly work something out. Okay. Okay. All right. Sounds good. Yeah. I have a question about this before we move off entirely. Okay. Um, so, uh, Steve, where we can talk to, you know, I could talk to your guest on or Haley about this uh, without violating 
open meeting law, uh, to what extent am I allowed to talk to members of the public as myself or with somebody else? Is that strictly forbidden? I don't believe any um, board members can discuss items before the board out of out of um, out of a public meeting. Um, mm -hmm. But you could certainly, if you're just talking to uh, a friend or something, you could certainly, you know, give your opinion. Um, you know, I think the, the the big the operative question is, is whether deliberations are happening. So board members would be um, verboten. But you know, if you just want to talk to your friend about it, that's certainly fine. Got it. And the. Uh... Oh yeah, yeah. Because I'd I'd like to solicit some get get a sense of what members of the public think, and it's definitely you know harder to get them to show up to a Zoom meeting to maybe ask somebody out in public, hey, you know, what do you think? What's your opinion about this? Um, but I don't want to go around violating the meeting. I try to collect you know public input from people. Yeah, collecting um, public input certainly fine. I think yeah, the key the key criteria is um you know deliberations happening outside mm -hmm. of a public meeting. I think I know on ZBA site visits. Um, obviously, you ask clarifying questions, and the one thing was you, anything that was asked on a site visit simply had to be recorded in a meeting. Something like that sufficient. Like let's say I was talking to somebody uh, who may even be like a potential person who would want to open. A marijuana shop right or this type of thing if i were to ask the question like hey what would you be looking for if i were then report to the meeting hey i spoke to this individual on this date these were the questions that were asked um is something like that suffice i i um it's been a little while since i've been involved with the site visits so i don't know exactly how they structure that with the open meeting law but um i mean if you're just talking to somebody about their general thoughts that's fine it doesn't mm -hmm. need to be in a public meeting or recorded at all um, mm -hmm. but, you know, deliberation is kind of where the, so you certainly wouldn't want to say, you know, you do this and we can get it approved or something, but you could just Got say, it. you know, general, generally speaking, you know, what would be a good, something you'd look for in a regulatory environment, that type of thing. Got it. Okay. Good to know. I mean, as we do this, do we have an email address besides you, Steve, like for public comment that might be worth posting somewhere on our website? The board doesn't. I know the town has to pay some sum for each email address, so they generally don't um, okay. don't give them to, to boards, but they can certainly just uh, pass along to me and note it as, you know, comment for the board license commissioners, and I can pass it right along. Okay. Great. Any other questions? Anything else on this topic? If not, then let's go on to rental registration bylaw. And Steve forwarded all of the uh, answers from KP Law, where I think uh, he responded, Mr. Murray and Ms. Goldberg responded specifically, I think, to some of the, the detailed questions about the scenarios. So did everyone, do we want to talk about that today? We have time for that. Um, I haven't heard back from Mandy about when they're um, sending this up to the town council. I think it's going to be a while. But um, they did, I think one of the more important things that the KP law did is um, ask the, uh, the committee to provide example, like a, to specifics about what it would mean to not pass an inspection or to to fail in an inspection, which is useful. And so they have to probably come up with that. Yes, Gaston. I'm, I, I'm sorry to, to go back to the cannabis, but I, I, I wanted to, if I oh, could sure. just note, I, I looked at the Worcester law and I just wanted to observe what are some of the policy things that are interesting there just to, to have in the back of our mind. Okay. One is that it limits the number of licenses for cannabis to 20% of the, of the number available for alcohol. So that was interesting. Okay. Um, relating alcohol licenses to cannabis. And then the other point is like, you know, the 500 feet of schools, which I guess is pretty standard. Besides that, it seemed pretty, pretty much the expected stuff here. Um, but it's a great starting point for for us and a very good checklist. So thank you for finding that, uh, Steve. Yeah, no problem. It was hard. I knew somewhere around there had done one, but I wasn't sure. Um... 
which city, and they had it pretty buried. But I thought it'd be a great a great thing to work off of. Hey, Doug. Thank you. <laughs> Good to see hey, you, Doug. Yeah, so, good to see you. So we're gonna, we're actually just a. Uh, <laughs> we hope you're doing well. Um, you know you're busy. Um, so just to bring you up to speed, we are in the discussion topics, and we just uh, we're about to launch into rental registration bylaw. However, um, what we did is literally two minutes ago we voted to establish a marijuana regulation subcommittee with three people on it so that two people could be a quorum and it could meet outside and we um already elected three people but if you really want to join if you want to be one of those three people um we have every anyone is willing to swap out with you well i think given my current status it's going to be tough for me i'm uh, i'm happy to offer um you know suggestion and advice given you know sort of things i've done to date i think Given that we're trying to move forward with this, I'm I'm guessing my capacity to help in that way is going to be pretty limited. So I'm going to step back on that, and of course answer any questions anybody has when they go through the the work. So okay, thank Great. you. So um, so the meetings will be on alternate Thursdays at five o'clock, and anyone any one of us can join in as a not a participant, whatever is sort of a good guest. I can't remember what the, the name is anymore. Um, any, and um, so Steve, would you be able to, for the documentation on that, would you be able to email that around to everybody on the board or is it just the people on the committee? Um, well, um, I could certainly CC them as, as interested parties and we could also okay. certainly continue to have an agenda item on the normal um, okay. license commission agenda. All right. Uh, I think just like Gaston kind of... said, this would really just be kind of for that focused in the weed stuff that, you know, still needs to be conducted in a public meeting, of course, but um, I take up too much time if, every other week on a normal meeting. Uh, okay, great. Um, and so the, the first meeting of that subcommittee t is tentatively uh, July 27th at five o'clock. Um, okay. So are we uh, ready to move on to rental? I'll just to, to point out to, to Doug, um, the Worcester um, law that Steve sent around, just scanning it, one of the interesting policy points is that they, uh, they max out the number of cannabis adult use licenses as a percentage of alcohol licenses. Oh, really? So 20%. Okay. Yeah, we have, um, if I may, it, mm -hmm. uh, we have the zoning limitation of eight total. I don't know how that compares percentage wise, but that's a, and that may have to change with, if, if they go to um, um, public consumption. But yeah, that's, it's an interesting point. Okay, so next up is rental. Are we ready for rental registration bylaw? Anything else on marijuana regulation? Any questions? Nope, okay. So rental registration bylaw. Um, Steve sent around the documents from KP Law. Did everybody get a chance to look through them? Or do you wanna look through them quickly now? Uh, the responses from the attorneys about some of our questions. These are the same that we got for, the, we had at the last meeting, right? Yes, I think so. We just didn't get a chance yep. to talk about it. Okay. I mean, I, I thought that the issue that I had been asking about, which is basically what could we meaningfully do as an appellate body? Um, mm -hmm. I felt like, they brought clarity to that and, and made it seem tenable, even if unlikely for us to get much action. Yeah, no, I agree. Um, is there anything we wanted to, we'd want to change or recommend to the committee? I mean, we're all still in favor of 
conducting the hearings for the So any recommendations or everything looks good? I, I like to after our last discussion, I think we've got some of the clarifying questions in there. So mm -hmm. I, uh, I, I think it's gonna be personally, um, I think it's gonna be a wait and see. We can we can over engineer it all we want before we get something. Okay. Get something and be like, oh, our carefully laid plans. We could have seen this coming. Right. All right, so is it worth having Manny Johanneke back in or should we just tell her everything looks great? I mean, um, the, I think that the, um, there go. I think we could just say that the um, the feedback from the attorneys on um, on the appeals uh, seems, I mean, it seems, seems uh, fine. They have some specific recommendations like clarifying what it means to pass an inspection. Right. And that certainly seems like it would be important for us if we were reviewing anything to know what mm -hmm. that that had happened and not, or not happened clearly so we i think we could say that uh the feedback from the attorneys uh seemed um you know was sent seemed sensible to us okay if, if you all agree all right i thought so everybody yes yeah okay great so i will email mandy with that and um, okay, and then we'll see what happens. Um, all right, if we're done with that one, on to interim police chief, Steve. So this is um, this one's been kind of bouncing around on the agenda, waiting for a meeting for a while. But I just did want to say that um, that uh, Captain Ting is the interim police chief. I had a good meeting with him about some different issues with the. Um, the license commission he's very supportive and um, happy to help any way he can and um, in response to the request that he reached out to the ABCC and try to establish um, a contact there he said he would so I haven't heard any update on that but um, I thought it was just worth um, worth saying that in a meeting. Oh that's great thanks Steve. Um, would you and I'm sure he's you know trying to got a lot to do um, right now but maybe uh, as it gets later into the summer could you follow up on the the ABCC thing just before the students come back mm -hmm. like end of August probably yes uh, Doug so I just had a question Steve you may or may not know this you know in the obviously um, um, Chief Ting is in place as an interim um, is there uh, a sense of when the the permanent position will be filled not that I'm aware of no I'm okay. there. Oh. I, there may be a sense, but I'm not. Uh, I'm not privy to it. So. Okay. No, I was just curious. Okay. Great. Uh, if there are no other questions about that, um, thanks again, Steve. And we'll go on to upcoming meetings and agendas. Um, so our next meeting is July twentieth at five. And do you have anything that you know? Any licenses coming up, Steve? That you know about that we'd need a quorum for or. I guess we need it in general. I don't I'm have not... anything I know is coming in. No, it's been rather slow. Okay. I'm not going to be here for sure. And I can't phone in or whatever. So um, as long as there are three, three others, everything should be okay. Um, and Steve, do you want me to, should we just put all of the discussion topics on now? Or does, do you want to talk to somebody else to set the agenda on that Tuesday? Well, I guess we can take a look at it now uh, right. we can keep everything here uh, we can keep marijuana um, yes. rental reg do we feel need to keep that on I don't think so I don't okay. think police chief um, just the two is there anything maybe else the we... lunch um, the lunch carts we can probably have an update on that uh, sure are they coming lunch back carts, in? food trucks 
Um, well, I've been doing some legwork with different town departments about um, about kind of the nighttime service. And there seems to be some support with um, maybe potentially closing off Prey Street to offer that right. on weekend okay. nights. So I am um, just trying to follow up with the engineering department, the DPW. Um, but we could possibly, um, you know, take a look at any changes to the bylaw that, or the regulations that might be needed for that, and um, you know, try to set a plan in place for the fall. We could continue with that topic. Okay, super. Well, why don't you put it on just in case there's going to be an update? I'll offer one quick thing on that. The, the closing of a street would be, uh, you know, it's the public way, which is under the guidance of the uh, or under the control of the town council. Yeah. So that. I don't know if they could permanently do it or they would have, to, I think they would have to take action. We could make recommendation to them though. Yeah, we will. Um, that's certainly another thing we'll have to take a look at. I spoke to Paul about it a little bit and I think there, he has some authority to do it on a temporary basis, but we'd have to, I, I think you're right. It probably would need to be the town council. So another thing we can look at. If, okay. we, if we don't have any licenses, do we still want to have the meeting? Um. I guess you don't have to. Do we have a placeholder in case something comes up, but if the, there are no licenses to review? What, what do you think, Steve? Um, I don't think we have anything um, particularly pressing, especially considering we'll have the marijuana subcommittee to focus on that. So um, I'd, be, I'd be fine with, um, you know, yeah, like, like Allie said, having a planning on it, but canceling it if there's nothing that comes up. I think time sensitive okay. that comes up. So that's that's fine. Just in case something, because something has in the past, you would call, ordinarily you would call Doug to talk about that. But if not, who do you call after that? Like if Doug is not available. So Doug is the vice chair. Um, right. I'm, I'm around. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not leaving just, town. All right. I just have it. Like, you better not, Doug. I just haven't uh, seen it. Uh, I am, I'm just yeah. trying to like make your make it easy for you. So um, okay. Well, you just call Doug. Yeah. It's a, comes it, up, it'll be a quick decision, him. I think, if if anything, you know. Okay. All right. So know. no meeting on on the twentieth unless Steve yeah. needs a, there needs to be a meeting, in which case call Doug. Okay. Get yeah. away from any green lights in the sky, Doug. That's right. <laughs> and great. And then on the 27th, I guess Steve will be in touch and see if people are able to. So who couldn't? I guess it just needs to be me and Hallie or me and Gaston or Hallie and Gaston. But we can deal with that um, after, after the 23rd. Okay. Well, we have all five here. Do we have any? Um, so besides you, Marion, does everybody else think they would make it on the 20th? Yes. I hope so. And well, we have everybody. Um, as the summer is very busy, might be, or summer is very busy with vacations anyway, it might be good to take a look at August too. So I think we would be looking at the 3rd and the 17th, and potentially yes. the 31st. What do those look like for people? If you just have any idea, if you'll definitely be out. I will 31st, be here for definitely all out. Wait, who's out? Uh, I am 31st, definitely You're out. out on the 31st? I will okay. be in Vermont, in the woods. Oh, nice. Annual camping trip. Um, I, I can do the third. I can do, what's the next one? The 17th. I can't do the 31st. Everybody else, good for um, good for certainly. I'm, I'm here for all of those, so. And guests on you too. For, for which date are we talking about? August, uh, 31st? Eight, August 3rd, August 17th, and August uh, 31st. Uh, August, just... August 3rd is, is, is the one that's not good for me. Okay, just oh, tentative. Wait. Obviously things might change, okay. but just tentative. Yeah, I'm yeah. definitely going to be in Nova okay. Scotia or something. Okay, I mean, I'm... Um, yeah, actually, you know, this I'll be on the Cape on the 17th and the, and I'll be in Boston on the 3rd. So that so those are not ideal. Um so if I'm a quorum breaker, we should maybe um talk about it. Okay. I'll be here for both of those, but not the 31st. Doug will be here. Ali will be here. 
Dylan. 31st, I'm good. 31st, yeah. I'm okay. Okay. And Dylan, which ones are you out? Uh, just the, the last um, weekend, you know, the last uh, one in oh, August. The um, 31st. Um, keep, yeah. Okay, so potentially we're okay. But um, states. All right, well, that sounds good. Obviously, plans may change, but it's good to just get a sense of uh, this day is definitely not going to work, so. Okay. Um, great. So we've done the subcommittee's establishment of marijuana regulation subcommittee. We did that. Topics not reasonably anticipated 48 hours prior to the meeting. And, yes, Gaston. Uh, I just, we, we have uh, someone, I don't know if we, they're here for public comment. Oh, let's see. No, that's the that's a newspaper reporter. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, Case, if okay. there's any public comment, you can just click the raise hand button and. Oh yes. No. Okay. Um, all right. No topics not reasonably anticipated prior to the meeting. Anything? I have none. I have none. Okay. In that case, is there a motion to adjourn? So moved. Thank you, Doug. Is there a second? Second. Thank you, Dylan. Any further? Just obviously not. Um, we'll <laughs> take a vote. Hallie. Aye. Dylan. Aye. Gaston. Aye. Doug. Aye. And I vote aye five to zero. We're adjourned at 5.39 p.m. Thanks, everybody. Um, I'll see some of you on the 27th. Sounds great. And okay. yeah, see you later. Thanks a lot. Bye. 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 Thank you. Nice seeing you, everybody. Yeah. Bye.